Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Renarb Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about the comic books that I have read, and I tell you where you can get those. First off, I will start with telling you about some Kickstarters that you should know about. First Kickstarter I'm going to mention is uh, called Tart, issues 1 through 10, and they are on Kickstarter under Kevin Joseph. Tart is a comic book that I reviewed last week, so... Uh, it's a very good series uh, I'm looking into getting into. Uh, I'm getting mine through my local comic shop, uh, Gamers Asylum in Ogden. But you can get all th all ten issues right now on Kickstarter. You back that and you're guaranteed it's going to get here when they finish issue, issue ten. They are br being uh, published through Scout Comics on the a uh, comic, comic shop side. So, Tart on Kickstarter. Uh, there's also Cherry Gilbert, Necromancer. It is in the Destiny New York series. And uh, in in that universe, uh, it, there's a school and a world where in Destiny New York where they tell you about a power or prophecy and you fulfill it kind of thing. And there's this girl, she fulfilled hers really early in her life. And so the comics about uh, what she does after her prophecy and what life continues on after that so uh, the Cherry Gilbert is a girl that uh, she, I think her prophecy is that she is going to die and so it's all related on that uh, her prophecy is something like um, she will die but very young but uh, her death will uh, create a catapult no is that the right word anyway uh, it's going to spur people into uh, curing cancer or something uh, I haven't read it yet obviously because I haven't got the Kickstarter yet but I can't wait to read it uh, the Destiny New York's volume 1, 2, and 3 are very good and Gangster Asperista in that same universe is good so I can't wait to see what this one's about and uh Let's see, there's also a By the Time I Get to Dallas Kickstarter for issues 1 and 2. So there is an, ep an epidemic where everybody stops what they're doing and they go to a certain point on the map, which happens to be in Dallas, and uh, whether you're mowing your lawn or you're driving a car, you, you just feel 80% of the population feels compelled to uh, be there. And so uh, what happens in that world when like what's causing it how do you get the people that are going to that destination to stop that's all in the comic book the kickstarter so check out by the time i get to dallas on kickstarter right now um to see that one i haven't backed it yet but i'm i'm hoping that uh i can make ends meet enough to be able to get that one because it's it's drawn interestingly and uh the story looks interesting so i want to check it out um and oh yeah also on Kickstarter is my my own campaign. I'm trying to get some Renarb Studios pins made. You can find the pin campaign on uh, Kickstarter right now. Um, it is going for 20 more days, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I just hit a big milestone on that. Uh, I am now 60% funded, and I have 20 days left to go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's a big feat for me. Um, I I was getting a little antsy a little bit, but I'm technically in the hump of it right now. So being half more than halfway funded at the halfway point is it's promising. So do check out Rentnarb Studios pins on Kickstarter right now. Back it. You can get the comic books with the pin. So if you want to get a uh, issue one with a blank cover and I, I draw anything you want on it this is an example of that I drew a Deadpool on here for someone so that's going to be going out soon but Peter Pan Vampire 1, 2, and 3 and a sketch cover whatever you want you want two pins you want just the pin and no comics I also hit another uh, milestone on that too I just sold uh, I'm at 723 comic books sold I had a good month uh, I broke that 700 comics sold uh, feet milestone 
So thank you to everybody who's uh, downloaded my comic book from IndiePlanet.com. Um, thank you everybody who's bought the hard copy especially because that helps me uh, fund my whole comic book uh, adventure here where uh, without without the funds and that I really don't know how I could do it other than just pushing forward and yeah so 723 Peter Pan the Vampire comics out there it's awesome uh, if you'd like to get a copy of that add it to your uh, pin reward and kickstart me get all the issues if you want it's pretty cool stuff um, yeah there's a reward tier for everybody anyway let's get down to the um, reviews here. So, first off, I'm going to talk about a comic called Miskatonic High. This is Miskatonic High issue 6. Um, I am a big fan of these. I've been back in Miskatonic High since issue 1. The art is very gray toned, but as you can see, there's neon pinks and blues here and there. Uh, and not monotone, uh, sepia toned, gray toned. Uh, it's kind of kind of in a spooky element. It looks very Scooby Doo and uh, Archie comic style. I love the storylines. There's a, a different monster in every issue, but it, it focuses on a, one of the main characters, kind of kind of like a Breakfast Club in a Miskatonic world. Miskatonic's a uh, oh shoot, where did I I lost it in my mind. Um, it's it's a very horror story kind of uh, system, um, but yeah, this one focuses on uh, the class president has an evil spirit inside him, and uh, he and there's a school dance going on. It's a Halloween dance, and so they all dress up and go to the school dance, and that's where they. Um, that's where they notify the school to tell them that uh, who got the class presidency. And oh, oh yeah, a nice little bonus in this comic book is my own ad for my comic books. Uh, Miskatonic Highs always ask at the end of their Kickstarters, is there anything you would like to see in future um, Kickstarters as a reward? And I, I said, hey, uh, have an ad in your reward and uh, make it so that someone can add, add the reward as uh, put an ad in your comic as a reward and uh, well then uh, now my comic is advertised in the back of one of my favorite comics Miss Katana Kai so that's a cool plus big bonus for me reading that I remember that but I, I did I don't know I kind of spaced it until I read the book and then yeah, it was a nice little surprise to turn the page and find my ad inside Miskatonic High. Um, they are going to be running a Kickstarter very soon. So go to Kickstarter right now, search up uh, Miskatonic High, and follow along. Then you can be notified when the next Kickstarter goes. I also got this cool little poster along with the comic and uh, another flyer of one of the covers. Someday when I have an office, I will line the whole back wall behind me with all these uh, postcards and posters and stuff that I get from the Kickstarter comics, and that would be a really cool thing. That way you could see all the awesome art behind me while I do that. Next up, speaking of uh, Kickstarters, is The Game. The Game is a comic I backed on Kickstarter also, and I knew right away without even reading the synopsis or any of the things about it that I was going to want it because it is created by the same team that does the White Ash comic books that I backed and uh, so yeah oh sorry if I forgot to credit uh, Miskatonic High is by Mike Shea and Ryan Mendoza sorry about that uh, the game is written by Charlie Stickney Art by Connor Hughes, colors by Triona Farrell, and there is an Iris variant by Jen St. Ange. I got the regular ver cover by Connor Hughes. It looks very beautiful. A uh, lot of lot of uh, bright colors. This comic is 
there's bright colors all the way through it, but man, it's got some beautiful art. Uh, it's got a kind of um, a murder mystery feel mixed with Ready Player One. Uh, this really famous uh, game inventor commits suicide and so they're questioning the cab driver that uh, took him to the alleyway where he shot himself. Very interesting storyline so far. Um, I can't wait till the next Kickstarter. I'm on board as soon as that happens. Um, let's see here. So yeah, check out the game. Follow uh, Charlie Stickney on Kickstarter so that you can know about White Ash and the game. The game also came with postcards. So check these out. That's the main character right there. Good stuff. Uh, those will go on that wall too when I get that far. So, and uh, now I'm going to talk about the Rent Arb Studios mailbox. Because today I got some cool stuff. It's not really comics related, but I got a bunch of uh, Coca Cola stickers from Wish. So, fun stuff to stick to my uh, wallet, laptops, and all that fun stuff that I always stick stickers to. And I also got a pin that says, I speak fluently in movie quotes. So that'll be fun to wear in my tie when I go back to church after this uh, stay-at-home order has gone away. And I got a Ghostbusters pin. Uh, these, this is what size that my Rent Arb Studios pins are going to come in. I think uh, most pins have a standard, this is what size they're going to be. So I can't wait to uh, to get Ren Arb Studios pins. Add these to my collection. Um, who knows when church is going to resume. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's the end of my show. I think I've run out of things to say. Run out of awkwardness. There's probably plenty of that going on. Anyway. Um, thank you for subscribing to Rent Arb Studios Comics, the YouTube show, and uh, definitely check out my Kickstarter. Please help me out. Uh, the last 20 days, I could really use your help in uh, getting fully funded. And there are those, there are some uh, cool little rewards, bonus rewards. If I get 15 backers, there's a mystery reward that I will add into every physical order and uh, if once as it keeps going up to 30 45 there's even more uh, bonus rewards that'll go out to you stretch goals is what they're called so yes I'm going by backers how many backers I get um, so even if it's a dollar back that'll that ups the amount of backers and uh, helps you guys out get to those stretch goals or uh, yeah there's also other cool things to add on to your orders too, like the Rent Arb shirt, but uh, whew, I've already over spoke, so let's go on too long. Uh, thank you for watching Rent Arb Studios Comics. Uh, see you next time. I, I will have more comics to review. Hopefully I will be getting back into drawing, getting a habit going. I have a, uh, a video of me drawing that I have to post soon. I just have to uh, work on that a little bit. So, thank you. Subscribe. Tell your friends about my Kickstarter. Tell your friends about the shows. And goodbye.